Sometimes I forget exactly how OP characters like Yue, Shea, Tio is compared to like the average person in this world. Because the way that we destroyed Freed, the way that we destroyed the lover guy too, bro, Yue and Shea were fucking popping up. They were having their highlight reels. And you know what? We got the fight with Nointa pretty soon. How is it gonna go with that? I think that Hajime, we saw from episode one, the beginning sequence, right? That he looked like he was losing, but surely he'll pull something out of his sleeve, right? Let's begin today's reaction though. The title is literally God's Apostle. You know it's going to be good. Noint, God's Apostle. But there's got to be more than one Apostle, right? Just magic stats. Just magic stats. What's she gonna... Huh? What is this? Summoning magic? What does she got? She's a farmer though. What? what? Does she have combat magic? This teacher has been rising up in my ranking of favorite characters in this show quite a bit lately. I just... What's she gonna do? She did this little thing on her hand? Like what? You gonna summon shit? Okay. Noint versus Hajime. Again, Air Dance. One of the most OP fucking skills still. Limit Break already? We should Limit Break too. Damn, she got bullets too! Her feathers. And the wings can fucking deflect. How about a close range? <laughs> she just looks so uninterested. And remember, she has no emotion. Bits, go! Do your thing! The bits are like sentient. Oh, OP just weapon that does everything. Wait! Wait, wait, wait. If the bits actually get sliced, can we recreate them or what does that work? Okay, she's actually kind of bodying us right now. What the fuck? If the guns get cut in battle, how does that work? Like, we need the resource to transmute them and make them whole again, but... What about the bits, though? Are, are the bits okay? Oh, what the... Look at that aura. Limit break time, maybe? It's not getting sliced off. I guess the aura around the, you know, is imbued the guns with more armor. I guess just regular stamina, the more magic you use naturally, you should get weaker a little bit. So we've already used Limit Break and we're already going down and after it's done, then we're fucked, aren't we? What about her Limit Break? Is it just on constantly? I mean, I'm just gonna assume if the aura isn't around us anymore, Limit Break is done. Getting closer and closer, man. This is getting actually dangerous. Hold up. Hajime... Wait, there's a crack there, though. Shoot it more. Break the weapon. The bits are back. So, I don't know how the bits came back. There's always four of them, right? But, okay, the bits are back, even though they got sliced up. Maybe there were six of them. I don't know. Maybe we have backup bits. And I think this is the sequence we saw in episode one. Hajime being very bloodied. Oh, she took some damage, though. Okay, she took them damage. It's not enough, though, man. Well, that was like an almost suicide attack. <laughs> okay, first of all, I think Noint is pretty good looking, but okay, he's gonna have some UA bias. Okay, what is this? Hmm? A new type of weapon we got? Hmm? Portals, and it's gonna shoot. It's gonna shoot some different. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This is a new one. Okay, if she doesn't have any weapons now. Are they light attacks though? I thought it's repeated attacks in the injured segments. Oh, we're gonna get some John Smith action going on. Hold up. Nah, the ropes aren't strong enough. Surely she can't take Pallet Driver to the face, right? Imagine it lands. Okay, dig in. This is our strongest weapon. Is it doing its thing? Okay, if she survives this, this is actually quite impressive. Even her eyes, dude. Look, look, look. She's actually showing emotion. The wings cut off. Weapons gone. One wing off. Hold up. The fight is looking pretty good now. Actually, the tides are swinging. Watch it just grow another hole. 
Wing, wing. I saw the whole first there and said whole, okay? My bad. Although that'd be pretty funny. Fall. Eyes are gone. Holy shit. Okay. I, I mean, no, we did get pushed quite hard, but damn. I, I don't know. I thought the fight might last a little bit longer, but. I mean, if you look at the amount of damage Hajime has taken, this is definitely one of the hardest fights. Take the irregular fucking dick. The stroke game strong, ask Yue. Anyways, what's going on over there? The fuck? This isn't our attack from Hajime that traveled this far, right? No, 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 right? She didn't do this, right? Are you telling me she did all this? She thought she was gonna die? What the fuck did Aiko Sensei do? What do you mean? You, the black dragon, thought she was gonna die. Boosted a power of my breath. Oh, she can buff like that? Holy shit. Yo, Sensei can buff like that too? So she just enhances anyone's attacks. Damn, I would have loved to see it. She's actually an insane crack supporter. We need to bring her to the team, man. Why does it feel like the student is the one lecturing the teacher right now? Like the roles are reversed. Fermentation. Okay, it's different. I thought she just boosted the magic, but she just basically made more methane. It's not as OP as I thought, but if you combine these two, you know, their combo attack's pretty good. Yo, the teacher has got some massive balls, man. No, it is what do you think. You burnt down this church. Yes, I just wanted to avoid half measures, so I decided on genocide. They did. They did. <laughs> you killed him! Blood is on your hands! Oh, she actually looks disturbed. No, we gotta lie to her now. Oh, no. She can't take this. Yeah, no, you're right. Did you make your resolve, Sensei? Okay, time for Hajime to console her. Head pads and then say what? Damn, Sensei. I can't believe you killed all those innocent children in the church. Oh my god, Sensei. You did that. You child murderer. How could you live with yourself? Shizuku? Shizuku, Shizuku. She has her blade underneath her pillow like that. <laughs> He's just trained a soldier. Look at that. She's just always fucking ready to go. Oh, the other girl. Shizuku? Okay. Doesn't even know what's going on. Everybody here is sus, bro. Oh, they're roommates? Uh, just roommates, guys. Just roommates. Oh, Meld is still doing well. Okay, team meeting. Look at this piece of shit Daisuke in the back, dude, acting like he doesn't know what's going on. Watch Daisuke suggest we just, you know, split apart. Huh? Me? No, she's controlled. She's controlled. Look at her eyes. You can tell what's wrong, right? Who broke the barrier though? It was Daisuke and the other girl, right? They were basically part of it, right? But who is the girl that betrayed? Because like, it's not a demon that Daisuke is being led by. No, it's another classmate, right? Hmm. Why are you suggesting this? Uh, is she suggesting something optimal? I mean, kind of true. I mean, kind of true. Everything she's saying is kind of true, but at the same time, because I'm like... Okay, her name is Editing. Because I'm just like so... Because I know there's another traitor amongst us. Like, who could it be? For some of her, like her to suggest something like that, it's very suspicious, you know? What if we're getting baited by her, though? Objectively, it is smart to plan up like that, but I feel like she's distracting us. What if she wants to get rid of us altogether with Meld? <laughs> it's fucking Jose, <laughs> the vice captain. 
This is what I'm saying. See, the whole part about grouping up is to get baited. Like, so the glasses girl then. Is it just a coincidence? Or is this just fucking. Uh, uh, is it just. just I, I don't know. Is she really the traitor? Because there's a second traitor here that's leading Daisuke. Even her hair. We saw the side of her hair before. It was pretty short. It was kind of like a bob cut. The hair even kind of matches too. But the voice. Does a voice match? I can't remember. Cool. Key. This is the most robotic speech. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Great. The beginning of what? The be beginning of what? Huh? I don't like this. What? What? Don't look! Just flash of light? Like, what is. Light that kills you? No, there's someone going around cutting, I think. The light is just to blind you. Someone's fucking cutting us up, right? It's straight up just the soldiers. Shizuku didn't get hit, though. Oh, shit. Okay. No! That's the girl that, like, was saying thank you to Hatsumi. I actually wanted to live. Koki, do something, bro! You're a fucking hero! Now, interesting that the glasses girl isn't here, right? Where is the glasses girl after she, you know, offered to... Daisuke and glasses girl both are conveniently not here. Shizuku, it's time for you to fucking solo. Glasses girl? Glasses girl? Who are you? Who are you? Let me see your face. No, it's a bait. She's gonna stab you. No, no, no. Careful, careful, careful. I don't like this. She's gonna fuck <laughs> you know it's just gonna happen too, bro. What the fuck? So everyone just gets backstabbed here? Like, that's a straight up backstab. That's not even through the front. Who can save all the. Well, Hatsume, Yueishi, everyone is still here. I just expected Shizuku and, you know, Koki to do something too. The hair, look, look, look. It matches the bob cut. Do you have glasses though? <laughs> Last moment to prepare her. What I fucking say. I mean, this bitch was so sus with the fucking- Oh, maybe we should go with Mel instead of going somewhere else, guys. Like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Did you even ever need those glasses? No, no, she didn't. Why is she evil, though? What reason do you have to be evil? Okay, so we discovered the second traitor. It's actually kind of big brain. Like, straight up, if I didn't watch those Annie News videos today, like, I wouldn't have realized that the person that's actually leading Daisuke is not a demon. It's another girl, like a human girl. And it's like, oh shit, what the fuck? Is it one of our classmates? It is. I don't even know her. What the fuck is she? Maybe in the light novel or in the manga, they actually went into more backstory. Maybe even next episode, we'll have a flashback, a quick moment of her getting bullied or something. Because like, why else would she have such vengeance against us, right? I think she's jealous of Shizuku, the way that she's talking about her. So maybe we'll get like a quick flashback of her getting bullied or something. And then what's going to happen? Hajime going to show up, execute like Shimuzu. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.